何をしても私を立てるぞ world of anime, there's no shortage of action-filled anime with spectacular fight scenes. So we've done our research and narrowed down a list to show the top 30 best fights of the century. Starting off the list, we have Daoma vs. Changurun vs. Double-Headed Snake, a visually stunning free-for-all. <laughs> This fight had one of the best sword fights we've ever seen and some amazing visuals. The animation in Blade of the Guardians truly stands out with how gorgeous the entire battle looked and how evenly matched it was. Dalmar's decision to free the double-headed snake leads to a free-for-all taking place with even soldiers getting into the fight and getting subsequently dispatched in the coolest of ways. The fight gains momentum when Chang Gurren joins, resulting in a mesmerizing showdown between the three swordsmen. The camera work showcasing their skills with minimal cuts adds to the fight's beauty. Ultimately, Dalma emerged as the lone survivor in a scene that left a powerful impact, but the other opponents held nothing back either. This Chinese anime really had some great scenes with this being one of the best battles in it. Summertime Render makes a list with the fight versus the shadows. There's a show in recent memory that so beautifully portrays determination and resilience from a ragtag group of people who put everything on the line, then it's Summertime Render. I don't know if a lot of you share my opinion, but I think this is one of the best shows to utilize the time loop system, and the way it transitioned from some murder mystery to pure thriller action is nothing short of beautiful, with this fight marking a huge turning point. An entire episode of Summertime Render never fell as short as this one, with the human team combining their skills to outplay Shide and Haine and inching ever close to victory. In addition to the quota for action being filled, it's still filled with the various mental gymnastics and strategy that I've come to love the show for. Perhaps this fight will encourage you to try the show out. Picture it. Edgy, badass characters ready to throw down in a battle that's been a long time coming, like the ultimate collision of an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Alucard doesn't waste a second, taking charge of the fight with a flurry of familiars that leave Anderson scratching his head. But hold on, Anderson's got a surprise up his sleeve. Enter Helena's Nail, his secret weapon that transforms him into a monster, leveling the playing field against the vampire. Just when things get wild, Seras swoops in for the save, giving Alucard the boost he needs. The battle rages on, and our fanged hero manages to outmaneuver and finally put the transformed Anderson to rest. In the end, Alucard stands tall, proving that when it comes to vampire versus monster paladin, he's the ultimate champ. Talk about a battle for the ages. Coming in all guns blazing, we have Homura versus Mami from Magical Girl Madoka Magica. If you saw a normal picture of this anime and just read the name, then you'd probably assume that it's a cute anime with magical girls. It's absolutely nothing of the sort, and there's some pretty insane fight scenes. The best amongst these were definitely the fight between Homura and Mami, since it involved the flashiest scenes around. Their 1v1 was filled with innumerable bullets as the two shoot at each other to win. The fight had an absolute banger soundtrack, and the environment was crazy. The bullet showers looked much like fireworks, and the pacing of the fight was really fast, so all these things coupled with great animation made the entire fight a sight for sore eyes. Both the girls were pretty badass in their own way, so seeing them fight each other just added to the coolness of it all. <laughs> Next on the list we have Oya versus the three masked outcasts from Hitori no Shita. This 1v3 battle is the type that we've seen numerous times but just can't get enough of. It's a pretty short battle overall but the choreography is just on a whole other level. You can see almost every move the characters make and they're all fluidly animated. Despite having to fight three enemies all the while being alone, Oya stays calm and composed. He even deftly handles the magic they throw at him. Also, I never thought someone handling a water bottle would look so cool but Oya made me think otherwise. Oya had everything under control for the entirety of the fight and his finishing move looked awesome. Chinese Chinese anime have really upped the bar with how amazing the fight scenes are, and this isn't even the last one of them on the list.
Next up, we have Trevor Belmont versus Death from Castlevania. Castlevania has some spectacular fights, but this battle against death takes the cake. And this isn't some fake death, it's quite literally the Grim Reaper. During the initial part of the battle, Trevor faces off against the Grim Reaper but ends up taking a harsh beating. After this defeat, he rises again, showing stronger determination and proceeds to overpower death, turning the tables on the situation in a glorious display of fighting prowess. The fight has some stunning animation and a pretty sweet soundtrack to back it up. Trevor shows off everything that makes him such a cool character and the villain has godly levels levels of power. Considering the stakes of the fight and everything else, this moment was definitely one of the top fights of the century. For the next entry, we have Jin Mori versus Han Davey from The God of High School. The best part about tournament arcs is that sometimes you get to see two heroes fight against each other and go all out because that's what you have to do in tournaments. This fight was one such moment when two heroes displayed their powers and skills. It was pure close quarters combat with no magical weapons involved. And the choreography? <laughs> it was stunning in every way possible. One of the coolest things about the fight was that the camera showed the scene from the character's point of view as well and it looked awesome. This fights aside, the next entry will be going for a superhuman battle between some of the strongest guys around. Escanor versus Esterossa from Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, see. Now this fight had one of the coolest openings before the fight even began. Esteros's commandment ensures that anyone who displays hatred towards him is rendered immobilized. All of the holy knights are affected by this except Escanor who says to Esteros's face that he feels no hatred towards those he deems below himself. This is the badass start to Escanor versus Esterosa and it only gets better after that. The way Escanor's sun attacks are animated look gorgeous and this was when Escanor wasn't even at full power. The fight showed Escanor's pride in all its glory as he took down one of the strongest commandments. The stakes were pretty high as Escanor's loss would have resulted in numerous casualties. Even then, it's hard to worry when the hero is as strong as the sun. Next up, we have Gamogawa versus Anderson from Hajime no Ippo. Amongst close quarter combats, this fight is amongst the best. Anderson is an American world class boxer while Gamogawa is a professional boxer on Japan's side. Anderson was a primary antagonist during this arc and Gamogawa vowed revenge on him after a few events that were less than pleasant. That's what's fueled their boxing match and led to one of the best displays of boxing in anime. The fight between these behemoths kept fans on the edge of their seats as each punch counted. The animation really holds up even though it's almost a decade old and each punch thrown feels so weighty and satisfying. Watching Gamogawa go all out was exhilarating, especially because Anderson was such a strong opponent. This entire fight is one that most fans of the series remember fondly, and that includes us. Before we reveal the top 20 of this list, we have Baki versus Yujiro from Baki. Now, quick recap, Baki is out to defeat his father, the strongest fighter in the world, and for good reason, since Yujiro is an absolutely ruthless beast. Nothing is off the table for this villain, and Baki has been working hard to defeat him. Now, considering all of this, it isn't surprising that the fight between the two would be highly anticipated. The fight itself is incredibly satisfying with how long it is and its over-the-top animation. The two can't exactly be considered humans either because of the feats they performed, like jumping off a skyscraper before the fight even properly began. It had some top tier moves being dished out from both ends and had some really fun to watch choreography. Being such a long awaited fight for fans of the series, it deserves a spot on this list. So. Coming in at number 20 is another Chinese anime, Fog Hill of Five Elements. This fight involves the two brothers Yi Xuan and Jing Xuan versus Shanchu, a 
and the fight is just incredible. The anime itself has some gorgeous visuals as every panel looks like something from an art book. The fight is fast paced but satisfyingly long. The moves each character pulls off are amazing to look at and the fight choreography is just top tier. Even the sounds are amazing. The fact that both brothers can go all out against such an intimidating villain really made the fight into something for the history books. The two have dealt some major blows to Shanju and one move in particular that looked great was when Yixuan punched Jingxuan to give him a movement boost to attack Shanju. The best part though is when Yixuan powers up into a godly figure and just decimates Shanju. Up next we have another combo fight with Asta and Yuno going up against Licht. After Asta and Yuno defeated the elves, Licht enters the picture as he's reminded of the massacre of elves after his wedding. During the fight, Asta gets beaten so badly that he loses his black form and Yuno has to fight Licht off until Asta regains his form. Even with all of that, Licht ends up beating the two heroes down. This fight involves some high paced action and some pretty awesome magic being thrown around back and forth. The parts where the anime suddenly goes black and white also added to the overall fight, making it look like something out of a manga panel. By far one of the best fights in Black Clover. We aren't done with the duo battles yet, as next up we have Midoriya and Bakugo versus Nine from My Hero Academia. Now this fight is one of the flashiest we can see from My Hero Academia and the animators held nothing back with it. We get to see Midoriya go 100% as well as Bakugo and their attacks look absolutely amazing. Nine himself is an extremely overpowered villain as he has 9 different quirks due to the power of All for One. Considering how powerful he is, it's no wonder that our heroes had to go all out just to defeat him. The two heroes even seem to go Super Saiyan at one point which was a pretty cool moment. The destruction of their surroundings showed how intense the battle was and every moment had fans on the edge of their seats. Hard to think the animators can trump this fight afterwards. But before we continue, I wanted to let you know that your favourite anime community just got better. I'm thrilled to announce the grand opening of our anime merch store. We've got everything an otaku heart could desire. Epic t-shirts, hoodies, posters and accessories. Every item comes with an exclusive design that you're not going to find anywhere else. These designs are like hidden jutsus crafted by myself and our talented team who understand the anime spirit. Our merchandise lineup will be refreshed every season, keeping your style game on point. So make sure to get it before it's gone. To celebrate we're offering an exclusive discount for the first 100 customers. Use code EARLYBIRD at checkout for an extra 10% off your entire order. The link's in the description below. Join the anime fan revolution and let's rock these exclusive designs together. Next on this list we have one of the most hyped up fights from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure where Jotaro fought against Dio. Both these combatants have pretty powerful stands, but Dio's ability to stop time is on a whole other level. Besides this, the fight was also the final fight of the season and Jodaro losing would have meant the end of the Joestar bloodline. Jojo's animation is already awesome with how over the top it is and the animators were keen on making the final fight one to remember. Watching both stands face off and bash each other senseless sounded amazing. Some people may say it's a cop out that starred Platinum gained the power as Dio's stand, but the show is meant to be bizarre so we'll just take that in its stride. Besides, who didn't love watching Dio get pummeled with a hundred punches? Coming in at number 16 we have Kaneki versus Jason from Tokyo Ghoul. Now Jason is an S-Class ghoul while Garnaki is the protagonist of the story. Unfortunately for Garnaki though, he ended up captured and Jason put him through mind-breaking levels of torture, cutting off his limbs repeatedly and making him eat them to heal. The entire situation was exceptionally brutal and the torture ended up breaking something inside Garnaki, resulting in a terrifying beast. So when Garnaki was released, we got to see him get back on his torturer and things became incredibly satisfying. The entire fight animation looks great and watching Garnaki exact his revenge was even better. Jason technically made Garnaki into an overpowered monster as he no longer cared for his body and barely felt any pain. It was a fight that marked the change in Garnaki in a defining moment for how you shouldn't push someone to the brink of insanity.
Up next, we have Mob vs. Mogami from Mob Psycho 100. <laughs> Now the animation for this series is something that takes a bit of getting used to to appreciate. That doesn't mean that the animation is something to scoff at though, and neither is Mob's power. Our friendly neighborhood Esper had to face an absolutely demonic evil spirit and seeing its power, you'd initially think that there was no way Mob could win this one. <laughs> Just kidding, fans already know how powerful Mob is when he goes 100% and this moment was one of the coolest. Mob's powers looked absolutely stunning during the fight as the animators ensured that this would be a fight to remember. The level of destruction was of a cataclysmic level and the the two used the entire city as a battleground with both characters decimating their surroundings. To top it all off, the soundtrack was a banger. Sliding into the scene, next up we have Gintoki vs Takasugi from Gintama. Now Gintama's known for its sweet comedy, but the fight scenes in this series are nothing to scoff at. This battle in particular between the two master swordsmen was exceptionally brutal and the choreography was stunning. The battle started off as a sword fight but quickly developed into a brawl. It was pretty brutal as both characters were left in pools of their own blood during the battle. The two were so evenly matched that you couldn't expect who the winner would be, especially because Gintoki was already pretty exhausted. The rivalry between the two has emotions deeply embedded in their roots, so it wasn't just a one-on-one -on -one battle, but rather a fight of of ideals as well. Everything in this fight was just awesome, so it's no wonder that it deserved a spot on this list. Next up we have one of the best fights from Demon Slayer when the gang fought against Daki and Gyotaro, the Upper Moon Six. <laughs> We already know how big of a threat the demons are as the demon slayers have to constantly put their lives on the line to fight them. The strongest amongst the bunch is the upper moons and this was the first time we got to see a fight against them. Even with Hashira, Tengen Uzui fighting with our protagonist, this was still a fight that was won by a very small margin. And did I mention how amazing the animation was? It was extremely breathtaking. The clash was just astounding and the moment when Uzui comes seemingly back from the dead to protect Danjiro and fight off Gyotaro is one of the most epic pick moments around. The colours, the attacks, the sounds, everything is just top tier. The animators sure did give us a treat for the ages with this fight and we can't wait to see what more is in store. Nearing the top 10 of this list we have Spike versus Vincent from Cowboy Bebop. Now this fight was amongst the best close combat fight scenes we've ever seen and for good reason but a bit of background before that okay. Spike is a bounty hunter while Vincent is a terrorist. They're both also exceptional combatants and we get to see them in action during this final fight. The choreography is superb and there's no magic or any powers involved which brings a rare realism to this anime. Every strike feels authentic and the characters pause to catch their breath showing they don't have infinite stamina. The martial arts depicted here feel genuinely possible as something you could see in the real world creating a strong link between the audience and the fight. The visual effects have aged exceptionally, contributing to the overall perfect atmosphere of the battle. Did I mention how this was animated back in 2001? Definitely one of the oldest fights on this list. <laughs> Moving away from the old but gold type of fights, we have a relatively recent one when Levi fought against Kenny and his squad from Attack on Titan. Now, Levi's always been one of the strongest characters in the entire series and he's been a threat to the towering titans. So watching him get cornered was something many fans couldn't have imagined, especially by a human. Although it's worth noting that Kenny Ackerman is technically his mentor as well, besides the fact that he possesses Ackerman blood. All that aside, this entire fight scene was just incredible. It was so fast paced that you'd miss it if you blinked and we had to see Levi meet someone as close to his match as it could get. The animation was on a whole other level and the camera angles perfectly showed showcase the entire fight. But we aren't stopping here though, as we're finally entering the top 10 of this list with Sukuna vs Mahoranga from Jujutsu Kaisen. 
This is one of the most recent fights at the time of this video and one of the best looking fights around. Sukuna, the king of curses, against the top Shikigami from the Ten Shadows technique. It's worth noting that Mahoranga is a Shikigami that's never in its history been tamed by any user of the Ten Shadows technique because it has exceptional fighting power and the ability to adapt to any and all attacks. But Sukuna is Sukuna, he's called the king of curses for a reason. This fight was an iconic moment that the series may not be able to top anytime soon as it was just insane. The entirety of Shibuya was destroyed when these two monsters fought it out and it was accompanied by some of the best animation of recent times. All that aside, we still have some golden fights that are beloved by numerous fans, including Ichigo vs. Ulkiora from Bleach. We all knew that the big three of shonen anime were bound to appear in such a list and the first fight from those three is this one. Okiora, one of the strongest espada amongst the Aaron Kart versus our hero was a fight to behold. Orihime was on the line during this fight so the stakes were pretty high for Ichigo. The animation was pretty good given when it was released and it still holds up as we get to see these two fight all out. Well, technically Ulkiora didn't put in too much of an effort before turning Ichigo into a donut. Seeing Ichigo dead and then watching him transform into a being on the level of a Vasto Lord took fans on a roller coaster of emotions and led to one of the most badass fights of the entire series. You definitely can't miss this fight. <gasps> Coming up next, we have another fight that hosts an absolutely iconic moment when Goku fought against Jiren. Now Jiren was an exceptional fighter who had amazing key control, great raw strength, speed and energy. He was so powerful that Goku could barely keep up and was on the losing end for the vast majority of the fight. That is, until he finally unlocked the Ultra Instinct. After the first time, Goku went Super Saiyan and this was arguably his second most iconic power up of all time. I say arguably because he has a lot of other transformations but this was exceptionally cool. The fight was long enough to satisfy any viewer and was gorgeously animated. Everything from the Ki Blast to Planet Bug Busting, raw strength looked astounding. Coupling everything from the iconic transformation to the heated battle, this entry definitely deserves a spot on this list. Coming in at number 7, we have King Bradley vs. Scar from Full Metal Alchemist. Scar is a nameless serial killer who is quite adept at alchemy, weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. On the other side we have King Bradley, the commander-in-chief of the state military and an exceptional swordsman. Their fight was extremely brutal with both of them bloody and wounded by the middle of it. But the fight continues with Bradley suddenly turning the tables on Scar. The end of this fight resulted in Bradley losing both his arms while at the same time Scar was pierced through the chest with a broken blade. He still won but threw a little luck on his side as the light momentarily blinded Bradley. During the fight we also got to witness a great speech from Bradley as he tore through most of Scar's attacks. It was an amazing fight overall and deserves all the love it can get. <laughs> Next up is Saitama vs Boros from One Punch Man. Saitama's the strongest person around, capable of defeating anyone in a single punch without even taking things seriously. Everything about him is overpowered and absolutely no one can hold a candle to him. But there was one being that pushed him to the point of throwing a serious punch and that being was Boros. Hey, it's a feat in itself to get Saitama to be even mildly serious in a battle so it's a testament to Boros' strength. Anyway, this entire fight was just so good. The animation was almost perfect, the battle was all over the place but could still be followed. It had some pretty funny moments and yet at the same time there was a certain sadness at the end too. The animation just took the cake though and you could see the love studio Bones had put into this fight. A long battle with perfect animation, what more could you want? Nearing the top three entries of this list we have Luo Lang vs Nanashi from Sword of the Stranger. This 
This was the final fight of the anime and an emotional one to say the least. Nanashi, a master swordsman versus Luo Lang, his ability to ignore pain was something that gave him a significant advantage during the fight, but Nanashi persisted. The battle took place in a beautiful setting with equally brilliant animation and choreography. The two characters used everything in their arsenal as well as the environment to gain an advantage over the other and it just seemed like there was no wasted moments and everything was fluid to the point of perfection. There was nothing flashy happening, no gimmicks, just two amazing swordsmen going all out. We got to see a beautiful fight and an ending that tugged on our heartstrings. Truly one of the best fights of the century. <laughs> Before revealing the top three of this list, we have Giritsugu vs Girei from the Fate series. This climactic fight sets up the stage for two characters who are exceptionally strong and cunning to finally find out who's better than the other. This fight was built up during the entire series and it certainly deserves the praise it gets. Beyond the well established character motivations, the fight itself was amazing in regard to choreography and animation, the battle is exceedingly brutal. Each fighter's single blow is so intense that it could incapacitate most opponents. Girei momentarily delivers a fatal strike to Giritsugu before Avalon intervenes to heal him. It was a short but sweet fight and encompassed everything the fans expected from these two characters. Entering the top three of this long list, we have an absolute iconic fight scene from Hunter x Hunter when Netero fought against Meruem. Now Meruem was the newly born king of the ants and right from his birth he was shown to be a being on an entirely different level compared to everyone around him. Meruem was brutal and ruthless and as such had to be faced by one of the strongest hunters in the series. And this is where Netero came in. In his prime Netero was considered the most powerful Nen user in the world and he retained his strength even in old age. He showcases his strength during the fight with Meruem and boy is it a sight to behold. The way Netero's praying is animated and the badass moment he puts on display during the fight even after losing an arm and a leg, lock him down as one of the coolest and strongest old men in anime. In the end, Netero had to sacrifice everything just to beat the overpowered Meruem, and still, the fight was one of the best of its kind. <laughs> At number two, we have another fight that was highly awaited by fans of One Piece, which is the fight between Luffy and Kaido. <laughs> Now this fight has technically been going on for quite a while but at the moment what we're talking about right now is when Luffy finally goes Gear 5. This moment was a game changer and a major reveal of the entire series. Fans suddenly got to know that Luffy actually had the powers of a god named Nika and then got to see all those powers on display. The fight was just bonkers and seemed like something out of a Looney Tunes cartoon as Luffy manhandled the Yonko and displayed some of the most epic moves in the history of the anime. It just had so many amazing stunts on top of the top tier animation so it's definitely not a fight anyone can forget. <laughs> At the top of this list we have the battle between Naruto and Sasuke. The battle we've placed at the top is the final battle between Naruto and Sasuke which was a culmination of numerous episodes that led to this point. Fans of the series already know all about the rivalry between these two characters and their interactions have had pivotal consequences for the entire Naruto universe. So to tie up that rivalry in a final battle meant that this was bound to be one of the best fights around. The fight had perfect choreography and amazing visuals and both of these powerhouses used were just stunning to behold. The battle started with a good old fist fight before before more and more powerful jutsu were incorporated until these two depleted all of their chakra and then went back to good old fashioned brawling. The battle marked the end of a rivalry numerous people around the world had been following ever since Naruto came to television screens and marked a conclusive end. With Naruto's worldwide fans following, this was a moment that many people will hold in their hearts forever and thus deserves the top spot on our list. And with that, we'll be wrapping up this list of the top 30 best fights of the century. With so many anime and so many fights, it's without a doubt that we must have missed some of your favourites. Don't keep us hanging though, be sure to comment down below the fights that you consider the best of this century. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so we can show you more of this action-packed content. See you next time.